What's up everybody? It's Comic Order 410. I have some pickups from my pull list shop and from some sales I hit up. First up here, most of you know I'm a big fan of the Rocketeer, so I was stoked to get my hands on these. I got this audiobook and cassette tape set of the Rocketeer from 1991, and it has a 3D comic with interior and cover art by Neil Adams. I'd never seen that cover, so I was super stoked to get my hands on these. I got a sealed set and a beat-up reader copy that has the 3D glasses included. Absolutely love that cover. Couple things here from my pull list. Got another Jim Steranko Captain America variant. They're apparently still doing these. This is to Civil War II number 7. Beautiful Jim Steranko cover. I will always buy those. I should have taken this out, but you'll just have to take my word for it. This is Spook House number two by Eric Powell. And my copy had a double cover, so I was very happy to find that out when I opened it up to read it. Got some good pickups in the dollar bin. Love these DC oversized dollar specials and giant size marvels. So always get them when I see them, especially for a buck. This is Detective Comics 484. Some slight condition issues, but I'm not leaving these for a dollar. Detective 488. Detective 492. Batman Family, Detective 483. And I got Brave and the Bold 150 with this classic Jim Aparo cover. Very, pretty nice copy, too. Found a beat-up Mulligan Stew activity book comic. Some of you might remember that show from back in the day. Found some Dale Keown Hulks in the dollar bin. Got $3.96 with The Punisher. Love Dale Keown's artwork. Hulk 403. The Juggernaut. Got this gorgeous Brian Boland cover to Legends of the Dark Knight number 50. Always love that cover. Found some... Pretty nice copies of Uncanny X-Men in the dollar bin, too. Issue 160, pretty sure that some of these are doubles. X-Men 161. Some Dave Cockrum covers here. X-Men 167. Really, really beautiful copy there. X-Men 159. Great Bill Sankevich cover there. X-Men 163. 165 and 168 and I also found a Transformers issue that I was missing number 57 so pretty happy with the work I did in the dollar bins this month now I already have a copy of these next two books and they're signed and graded thanks to my buddy Ira but now I have loose reader copies of Caliber Presents Number 1, and this is actually a really nice copy. I got a pretty decent deal on the next three books together. And I got another first print of Caliber Crow Number 1. has a small bend on the corner, but this is still a VF Plus copy. Um, maybe even a near mint minus on a good day. And I got a really nice upgrade to Star Wars Number 1. This book around this time last year had jumped up because of the Force Awaken, Awakens movie, excuse me, and it's it's gone down a good bit. So I got a decent deal on this, and this is a sharp copy, probably a near mint minus. More books I found in the dollar bin. Found Kitchen Sinks, French Ticklers, number one. And these have covers by Jean Gerard Mobius, so I was very happy to get my hands on these, especially so cheap. They're nice copies. That's number one. French Ticklers number two, and issue number three. Can't wait to give those a read. Now I'm going to get into the rest of the stuff I didn't get to show on my magazine haul. Most, pretty much all this stuff was on sale. Was happy to find these. These are the ElfQuest trade paperbacks, and this is book one. It reprints the early warp graphics stuff. And this is a first printing from 1981. I got these for five bucks a piece, which is less than half of cover price from 1981. So very, very stoked to get those. 
that's book one. Book two, beautiful, beautiful Wendy Peeny cover there. And book three, this copy looks like it's brand new off the rack. So, very happy to get those, especially for five bucks a pop. Then I did pretty well in this $2 magazine bin. They were actually two fifty, but I bought so many, uh, the owner of the store gave them to me for two bucks a piece, which doesn't sound like much, but when you're buying this many, it does add up. Got creepy number eight. Could not believe this was in a $2 bin. It's not a bad copy either. Stunning, stunning cover here by Gray Morrow. So happy to get that. Got Erie number 83 with the Rook. Erie number 91. Love the Warren Horror stuff. Erie number 102. The cover by one of my favorites, Richard Corbin. Had never heard of this, but it looked interesting, and this was the first issue, and since I'd never seen it, I picked it up. First Kingdom, number one, by Jack Katz. Not familiar with him. Got this Midnight Marquee tribute to Hammer Horror Films, and actually gave this a red. Very informative. More $2 magazines. Got Rampaging Hulk number 9. Another one of my favorite artists, Earl Norm, did this cover. And every time I see this cover, I'm like, why is Thor, who's the strongest one, just kind of barely holding the Hulk, Hulk up with his shoulder and making Ant-Man and Wasp do all the heavy work in the back there? But great cover nonetheless. Got Rampaging Hulk number 11. Marvel Preview Presents, number 15, Early Star-Lord. Getting close to finishing my run on Marvel Preview. Number 22, another stunning, stunning Earl Norm cover, uh, Merlin. Marvel Preview, number 24, with Paradox. Got a beat up copy of Marvel Super Action. This is a double for me, but I have a nice copy, so this will make a good reader. I already gave it a read. One of the two black and white Punisher magazines from the 70s, uh, Marvel Super Action. I believe this is number one. Got Marvel Super Special Battlestar Galactica. I was a big fan of that TV show as a kid. Got the Marvel Super Special 34 Sheena movie adaptation. Again, was a big fan of this and had a huge crush on Tanya Roberts, as I'm sure anyone who watched that movie back in the day did. Got Marvel Super Special number 38, the Red Sonja movie adaptation, and boy was that movie awful. I watched it again recently, and it is not good. Grab Tales of the Zombie, number 8. Tales of the Zombie, annual number 1. Some kid went, went off on it in pen, and then it was sold for 50 cents, probably to yard sale. But for 2 bucks, great reader copy, and I've always loved this Earl Norum cover. What a great, great cover that is. Couldn't believe I found some Vampirella magazines for 2 bucks a pop. They're usually not cheap around here. Even the common issues. Got Vampirella 52. Stunning cover. I'm not sure who did that. I have an idea, but I'll probably be wrong. Have to look it up. Vampirella 57. Number 58. All the covers on this series were good. Had so many, so many great artists working on this. Starting off with the great Frank Frazetta on issue one. Vampy 59. Number 60, Vampirella 61, another beautiful cover, and 65. Always happy to add them to my collection whenever I can find them. And many of you know I'm always working on my collection of Marvel graphic novels from the 80s. Found a good bit in the $2 bin. Since they were $2, I picked up 
some of them he had doubles and I picked them both up. So got Incredible Hulk and the Thing by Jim Starlin and Bernie Wrightson. His copies kind of grunged up on the front, but got a double of it. Had Marvel Graphic Novel 16, The Aladdin Effect, Greg LaRoque cover, and I got both copies of that he had since they were two bucks. This is one I've been looking for for a while. It's not worth a whole lot, but not easy to come by. And again, it's the cover's kind of dingy, but got Kill Raven by P. Craig Russell, Marvel Graphic Novel number seven. Got Mobius. The Collected Works, number one, volume one, Upon a Star, has a tear on the bottom corner, but it's worth it just for the read. Great, great, great stuff. Grab the epic graphic novel, Someplace Strange, by Innocenti and the great John Bolton. Have yet to give that a read. Got a first print of Emperor Doom. Some of these are in beautiful condition. Look like they've never been read. I could not leave them there. So, first print of Emperor Doom. That is a great, great story. Got the Excalibur Weird War 3 Marvel graphic novel. Hercules Full Circle by Bob Layton. Amazing Spider-Man Parallel Lives. And this one was arguably my best pickup here. A near mint first print of X-Men God Loves Man Kills for two bucks. Six dollar cover price when it came out in the 80s. Got it for two bucks. Very happy to have found that. Got another copy of Conan the Witch Queen of Acheron. This is a beautiful, beautiful near mint copy. Looks like it hasn't even been read. Another great find. Squadron Supreme Marvel graphic novel, Death of a Universe. I believe Howler Mouse just highlighted this not too long ago. Great book with some very interesting history with uh, Mark Grunewald putting his ashes in the inks. Got DC Graphic Novel number 7. There's a lot fewer of these to collect, and I have pretty much all of them now. I'm missing one or two, I think, but DC Graphic Novel number 7, Space Clusters. And last but not least, got a $2 copy. I have these books, but uh, got a $2 copy of the Grendel Devil by the Deed graphic novel. It has some problems here, but it's worth it for me just to read the introduction by the great Alan Moore, so... Very happy with uh, my pickups. I went a little overboard, but when I saw deals like that, I wasn't leaving these books sitting there. So everyone, as always, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for stopping by. Take care of yourselves. Have a happy holidays and enjoy your comics.